Right, so once you've got to the PMDG website, uh, if the 900 is out, that will be here replacing the 800, so you can click this button, it'll send you back to the 800, sending me back to the 600 now, because uh, that was the one to be released before the 800, or you can click on shop, and all products or MSFS, um, and then you'll see it just here. So you can either click quick view, and add it to your cart from here, or you can actually click on it, and add it to your cart from here. Then once it's in your cart, you just need to click on cart and you can either click view cart or checkout. I'm going to go to checkout uh, and then you just have to fill this in. So it's your first name, address, uh, last name, company name, phone number, address, uh, city and all the rest. So I'm just going to fill this in and catch you up with you as soon as I am ready. So once you've done that, you're going to want to go to... Um, you're going to want to click the next button so you're going to click payment uh, and then you can just add your credit card number your name on your card the expiry date and the CVV which is the three digit number on the back or you can use PayPal PayPal pay later or Google pay so I'm just going to fill that in ah, and then you need to read this definitely and uh, click yes you agree with the terms and conditions then you can just place your order right so I'll catch up with you guys when that happens so once you've done that, uh, you come to this page, here will be the name you put there, and your order number here. Um, an email will be sent uh, containing information about your purchase, and then it's just an inf uh, a email to get any information. Uh, so you've got a email that should be sent to you um, that's going to your download link and activation keys, which will be quite important. Um, and if you have an account with PMDG, all your stuff has been saved with them, so it's a bit easier to check out later. Other than that, you can uh, continue shopping or you can print something. So this is the email I got from PMDG. So it just says thank you. Uh, so it looks like we can download it and we'll be getting a license code. So once we download that, we can put that in and then we should be okay, which is rather painless, especially considering this first day of the 800 being out. But yep, yeah, this is definitely the right plan. So you just want to click download, uh, it's got your order ID uh, and things like that, orders, okay, yeah. So if you just click on your order ID, you can click uh, the download product, then you want to send an email. Uh, so they've sent you another email. So you can just copy and paste that into there, click verify, and then you can download it. Awesome. So if you, I'm just going to put that in uh, here. So that's downloading, it's about two gigs. So it looks like it's got quite a while to go. I'm not sure if that's due to server strain on PMDG's side or Wi-Fi issues for me. Okay, so um, it just finished downloading. It was a 2 gig file. It took about 55 minutes, which is an incredibly long time for a file of that size. However, I'm going to pin that on uh, server issues with PMDG, which is fair enough. So in this uh, zip file, which we just downloaded, we've got notes for modders, uh, readme, and the actual executable, which I'm assuming is some sort of installer. So we're just going to click extract all and shove it in here, click extract. It's going to take a tiny bit. Okay, so that shoved everything in here, so we can just sort of... You can either delete that or um, not. I'm just going to leave it there, just in case something went, goes wrong with this, then I can always unzip that again, because I don't want to have to download it all over. Uh, so, uh, Windows protecting me. Uh, I trust PMDG, so I'm just going to click Run anyway. Uh, if I open this... It's just got some important things, not for training, reserved, blah blah blah. So yeah, I'd recommend reading this if you intend to distribute stuff or mod stuff, but other than that you should be fine. Reverse engineering prohibited, not for hire so you can't lease anything out. Uh, private use only, so just you and I guess a few friends. 
uh, that sort of thing. And only one person is allowed to use uh, software. So one user may use the software uh, on the customer's computer, where the software for archival. Yeah, I don't understand that, but you know. Awesome. So we, uh, we click the executable, so we're here. So this is the end license agreement, which is exactly the same set. So we've just sort of read that. Uh, so we can click next. Activation key. So this is the thing we got in that email. So that's not it. Uh, so we got that in the email. So that's this for me. So we just copy and paste that in, click validate. Uh, thank you for activating. So you click OK, click next click install and it's just going to be downloading for some time uh, because PMDG servers are probably struggling in the moment Ooh, it's actually going by quite fast but I'll catch up with you as soon as it's done okay so the installation is just whizzing through you can see it's loading a lot of stuff it, it was going a lot faster it's started to slow down now okay never mind seems to be downloading every single star in the world Okay, so it's still going relatively fast, yeah, here we go. So it just got to the end of that. Uh, so this is the installer. Updating, so it's updating the PMTG Operations Center. I don't think I ever installed it, so yay. Uh, update, yep, so now it's going to open the Operations Center. Okay, awesome. Everything's good, so in that video I'm I'm going to do a video specifically on the PMTG Operation Center and liveries and such, but if we just come here, yeah, we can see all the liveries seem to be working. So, yes, we've installed it, um, so click finish to exit the wizard, which is the installer. So my sim's loaded, uh, and if we just look through here, should be here somewhere. Yeah, 737-800, so we've got the BBJ2, BDSF, I need to learn more about the 737, but yeah, we've got all the things, so yeah, awesome. Right, so I'm going to fly the BBJ2, looks like you've got two different deliveries, uh, N737 ABA and N7338 uh, BJ, okay, so they're both in the at least a similar livery, both 2022, and both got the exact same specs. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go with this one, for no reason. So we've been told not to put anything in here, um, when you're loading in. Apparently it can mess with some of the things that PMDG have set up. So, we're just going to delete everything. Um, Failures, don't touch anything there apparently. Fuel, they've got some of that. Liveries and aircraft selection, we're good. So I'm going to load up at Renton. KRNT. Uh, KRNT, is it over here somewhere? Renton. So I'm going to load up on one of these stands. Let's see, I'm going to load up here. Mm, actually, that looks pretty. Uh, I'm going to load up here. Actually, where's the PMDG? This is pretty PMDG. So I'm going to load up here. Uh, real time, but not live weather at the moment because uh, Microsoft Flight Sim has some server issues. If we hit fly. Right, so in Rob's video uh, from PMDG, PMDG, he said that uh, this may take slightly longer than usual. Um, Seeing as it's an entirely new plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator sometimes likes to take a little while longer to load it. it. Um, so for him, with 32 gigs of RAM, uh, it, took, it takes him about 11 to 12 minutes. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take me, um, but I'll be back when we're there, and hopefully everything will have worked perfectly well, and fine, and perfect, and yay. Apparently the way to know that it's not your sim hasn't hung, um, is to make sure that this sort of thing here is still going through with different things, which is, yeah, it has been so far. It's loaded in and everything is looking rather nice. So, 
yeah, it's very nice, very, very nice here at Renton, and everything looks perfect. I'm surprised uh, the uh, sim isn't lagging like crazy, but uh, it's not, so 